Hi everyone, this is Tinagaran and welcome back to the YouTube channel RPA Space. So today we are going to see one of the interesting activity which could be like kind of a new and uh, that will be available from the recent version of UiPath 2021.4.4 and in case if you are using older version you might not be able to see this activity but, but this is going to be quite handy and helpful for the one which uh, people are using in the new version. So without getting delayed, let's jump back to our channel and then see like uh, in the real time basis how it can be useful, right? So in case if you are new to the channel and are visiting for the first time, just have a look at our channel and we do have a lot of videos related to UI path and to prism. And if you are uh, started to learn the concepts related to RPA from Flash, you can uh, refer our channel. And in case if you have any questions or queries related to uh, any of the videos or content which we publish, just uh, Comment it below. I'll try to address it as soon as possible. Right. So, how to use a repeat number of times? So, there is an there is an activity in UI part. Earlier we have like a retry scope. Still, we do have that activity as well. But in addition, they have introduced one more activity for uh, repeating particular number of uh, sequences with uh, the count which you are specifying. This is going to be like a bit different with the retry scope, not in terms of uh, logic too much, but it will be really helpful when you come across some sort of a blind uh, loop kind of thing in your project, right? So what is this all about, right? So repeat set of activity for specified number of time without having any conditions. So you don't need particular conditions. For example, blindly you want to repeat it for a particular number of time. You can use this activity and uh, like what is the exact difference between the repeat uh, activity and the retry activity is what i'm going to highlight it at, at this moment so for example repeat you just need to mention how many number of time you want to repeat it either you can hard code the uh, input uh, or you can give it in in the form of a variable we don't have any restrictions on that but when you come to retry scope right so you don't you just need to mention in the uh, uh, like in the condition state you have to use is true or something right so so that or you can use the rejects expressions to uh retry the loops based on the conditions it will either retry it or it will come out as a positive scenario but in this case it will no matter what it will retry the number of times what you specify so that's what the activity is meant for and where could you find this activity you can use the search panel for a repeat number of times as like a uh, name or you can go to activities workflow control and under control you will be able to find the repeat number of times right so i'll try to show it in your uh, uh, like ui path uh, studio how to be uh, like differentiated then that will be really helpful right for example if you go to the studio you could be able to see right so this is a retry sequences and here you can find the retry number of time right so the, what the basic input for retry number of times is for example you have to just give the number variable it will accept only as a number or either you can hard code it or you can just give it for example as a variable defined over there in the int data type and you can mention it and it will have an option to start at right for example you want to start the loop at uh, sec, uh, two and you want to continue to still four that could also still be possible right now i just kept it as one but if you want to start exactly for, for particular row, right, you can still do it. For example, you have a hundred row, you want to loop through from 91 to 100, then you want to mention the start as 91 and it'll end it as a hundred, right? So this is how the uh, number of, sorry, retry number uh, will be helpful. Retry options will be helpful. So for example, I just put a log here saying like uh, uh, retry repeat right so i just since i mentioned like three you can be able to find right it will be able to uh, like run for three times so but if i say the start as like two it will just run it as once right so uh, that's how your start uh, start input and the final number of times input is going to be helpful for this activity and uh, so you can see right the repeat completes at three right so this is how the repeat number of row activity is going to be helpful. You can start any number you want and you can end any number of times you want to go through that, right? But when you come to retry scope, so you can put any number of logics or whatever be the sequence for your process, you can add it here. So the same thing I'm just mentioning here, right? I can put like a, a retry kind of thing, 
but only thing you had to mention you had to mention the conditions here condition can be like uh, uh, as a reject expressions or you can use is true activity so i don't know whether we have a package loaded for it here let me try so we don't have a package here so for downloading the package for this conditions to use it in use it in the retry so i can go for microsoft yeah microsoft activity so i had to use this so i can use extension as well but mainly I had to use this activity so only then you will be able to find uh, the retry uh, logic conditions so in case if you don't want to use it in this version you can just go to is match activity which is available uh, for you where you can add a reject expression to validate something which you used it in the uh, like uh, sequence of your uh, read rate block right it's just loading yes hope it's got loaded now you can try is true yeah this true expression is there so you can give it into the conditions and in the conditions you can use whichever logic you want for example if you uh, assign we assign control k and uh, flag just i'm giving for rough references so mention it as true here and uh, true here you and probably you had to go to the variable and change the type of it to boolean yeah so if you like input here like the flag oh, variable scope action sequence and then go here give the flag yeah so based on this condition if it is true then it is a different story if it is false then it's a different story and based on the condition it can the retrace scope can run number of times you want for example three times and if you're giving an interval of three times so this is how your retrace is working fine which is basically based on your condition if this condition satisfied just come out of the loop even if the number of retrace is three if the condition does not matches it will retry a maximum number of times which is specific but repeat number of uh, times is something where it will simply repeat and uh, that will keep continuing until it reaches the repeat number of time count and it, you have option to start it with particular row that's one option which you have it and of course we know the private right so if you click on private the logic sorry on the logs which is there inside the loop will not get recorded so it will be uh, it will be helpful if you have huge number of logics which you look through. So this is what I just wanted to cover it in this video. And in case if you have any questions, just comment it below. And I, if you want to have some more example need to get attached, just comment it below. I'll try to take one scenario and upload it to you. This uh, is going to be really helpful for someone who is using the recent UiPath version. And probably if someone is using 2020 or like lower than that, they cannot be able to find this activity, right? So. Yeah, thanks for watching and keep sharing and subscribing our video. You'll be able to get more and more new activities and uh, updates related to UiPath in the future as well. Thank you. Have a nice day.